Welcome to Digitales. This is the last episode of 2023. और इस एपिसोड में मैं बात करना चाह रहा हूँ 2024 की हमारी अपनी एनर्जी की कि हम 2024 को किस तरह से चैक टैकल कर सकें और उस साल को मेक इट द बेस्ट ईयर ऑफ आवर लाइफ एंड फॉर फॉर दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन आई हैव सम वन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी हु हैज थर्टी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस बिल्डिंग इन्वेस्टिंग इन स्केलिंग बिजनेसिस and he has a ton of experience on the art of living itself he has fantastic energy and he's going to set us up great for 2024 name zimidar how are you today very good good being here thank you feeling good i know we were talking about this for a while and i'm glad that we're doing this as the last episode of 2023 this is my luck so the last episode of 2023 i want to talk about 2024 and i think that there's this whole notion of न्यू ईयर्स रेजोल्यूशन अगले साल हम क्या करेंगे आदत चेंज करनी है और ये सब करना है और नया साल सब जज्बे से शुरू करते हैं और फिर वो जज्बा तीन हफ्ते में जाके जीरो हो जाता है वही गुलाब जामुन पेट में जा रहे होते हैं वही सिगरेट नोशी शुरू हो जाती है जो भी आपकी याद आते हैं दैट यू वर ट्राइंग टू चेंज यू कम बैक टू इट बट यू प्रैक्टिस द आर्ट ऑफ लिविंग एंड यू लिव बाय इट वॉक मी थ्रू वट दैट इज एंड हाउ वी कैन अडॉप्ट दैट फॉर द न्यू ईयर एंड आर लाइफ Oh my god this is a huge subject but let's make it simpler than yeah than rather than a big deal right art of living is just the ability to flow to live fully in, in with a sense of freedom uh, being able to express yourself and just be yourself right when you are you're in your natural flow something beautiful that emerges out of you and that's the art of living which means there are two things right When you were a kid, what 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 was what was the reality? When you were a kid, you were always bustling with energy. True, so energy always. comes with it. So you're energetic. Number one. Number two, you're mostly happy. You're smiling. Some things go wrong. You fall. You slip. You cry a bit. But you get up and then start smiling again. Right? That's the other art of living. And the third thing is that your intelligence and your body responds very differently. You learn fast. They say most seventy percent of learning happens before the age of five because you're open, you take in stuff like nobody's business. We just slow down over the years. So the art of living is really becoming more like a child, right? Having the same energy, enthusiasm, and intelligence flowing through you, and also the sense of happiness and contentment. You enjoy everything. And I think part of that is because because as a child, our no such ideas are not there, right? We just do it. Exactly. And exactly. We're Japanese- being the flow. In just hit it right now. और इसमें जापनीज में एक कॉन्सेप्ट है शोशन का राइट द नाइव माइंड द बेबी माइंड जिसमें यू वॉक इन टू एवरी सिचुएशन विद जीरो थाट एंड जीरो माइंड कि बस मैं अब यहाँ पे इस मोमेंट में ये कर रहा हूँ और मेरे कोई ख्याल आती नहीं है इज दैट पार्ट ऑफ दर्ट एब्सोलूटली ना वही बता ना यू जापान जापान दे हैव दिस कॉन्सेप्ट नो माइंड राइट नो माइंड वेन यू डू जेन स्पेस विद नो माइंड it doesn't mean you, there's no mind the mind is there but it's dropping this constant you know doubt thoughts fear it's just being able to calm down and be here and now here and now is the word right and it's and it's also something which is a people don't realize that it's a phenomena a minds have become the way the busy mind that we have has become through a whole years and years of conditioning or misconduct you know where we eat in the wrong foods the chemistry is gone bad right so that causes it and then stress so if you had eeg machine you can actually monitor it right from gamma is very disturbed state to to beta to alpha to theta to delta so the calmer you get the pheno- and this is now a very much a scientifically researched and studied phenomena right as you calm yourself down what happens is your actually mental intelligence goes up dramatic not linearly mm-hmm. but exponentially and your other abilities like psychic ability your ability to connect to feel grows your body's ability to heal right goes tremendously and you know normally we're so stuck up in this more we'll see either gamma or or or, or beta level you just come into alpha automatically you start coming down right Mm. And theta is a deeply meditative, and delta is close to death. Is, but that's when you are like so silent. You can even see matrix because that you can see a bullet move. Mm. That's what happens to your mind. Your ability to perceive things becomes much deeper, much more profound. But for that, you have to slow down. 
That's exactly it. But how do you slow down in this day and age? I mean, the most important challenge is that there's so much happening, and especially at the point of life that a lot of us are in. Let's say in middle age, right? Yes. Late, mid to late thirties, young family, kids, parents are still around, a job that is yeah. very demanding. ठीक है अ सोशल लाइफ सोशल मीडिया दिस थिंग दिस डिवाइस इज डिस्ट्रॉयड स्लोइंग डाउन राइट हाउ डू यू क्रिएट एन एनवायरनमेंट वेयर यू स्लो डाउन देयर आर टू थिंग्स राइट स्लो डाउन डजंट मीन नेसेसरी दैट यू आर लेस प्रोडक्टिव इट मींस यू आर क्वांट यू कैन एक्चुअली हैव अ क्वांटम लीप इन प्रोडक्टिविटी राइट बिकॉज़ व्हेन यू टेक राइट एक्शन इट हैज मच मोर पावर इट इज मोर इफेक्टिव यू आर जस्ट यू नो They say, see, stress is caused by vacillation of the mind between worrying about the future, anxieties about the future, and regrets of the past. Mind is vacillating. You 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 hear only for a very limited amount of time, and now there's a lot of research around that, right? And if you can bring yourself to now, you're focused, you're productive, you get things done, you move things. Mm. We are not very productive most of the time. You're mostly vacillating rather than. cutting through stuff mm. and that's the secret right the, you know uh, in california there's a whole project called flow the flow genomics project right okay. which has done a lot of research on this any great master of any sport sport business you'll notice that they're very present musicians you see abda parveen singh she is totally present with her music right great athletes imran khan or anybody right politician businessman they are those who are good are absolutely here and now right you see the difference and yeah, they are it. in and they are one with that sport at that moment in time at least know that they are wo flow state ke laata exactly otherwise you can't produce extraordinary things in anything in life right so ab ab sport mein so and i i experienced the flow state in a couple of occasions mai jeep rallying karta hu so in that environment uh you know you're in a terrain that is extremely harsh you're in a vehicle at speed yes and it's high risk kyunki kuch bhi ho sakta hai usually it's safe because you know you've protected yourself but it's high risk and at that point in time i actually achieve a level where i don't feel the rest of my body hmm. all i feel is i am one with the vehicle oh, i that's it right and i you feel the terrain I feel the steering, I feel the throttle, and I don't feel the rest of my body. And there is zero thought in my head, except mobility. And isn't it a beautiful place to be? It is zen. It is zen. I, is... It is, and and I, you know, you experience it. I experienced it cycling. We were in the morning, morning, we were going to go cycling. We were cycling. We were going to go 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 cycling. We were going I love my kids I love my family and everyone will say that about theirs yes most people will not say that about their work but theek hai but family or kids ke sath ye flow state hum usme kaise la sakte hain to to mai mai course sikhata hu it's called the art of living course which you talked about right usme we covered we do it through three means we first focus on the body right if your body is low on energy No matter what you do, yeah. you're not going to be productive. Your mind is not going to work. Nothing's going to work. And in energy, we call it something called prana. Right? Hmm. Prana means life force. In Chinese, they call it chi. The Japanese call it ki energy. Right? And in America now, they're calling you know, the, 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 the mitochondria. That's hmm. energy in your cells. Right? Uh, it's very powerful, and there are ways to be able to enhance it. So, in 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 what we teach, we teach you these very powerful breathing exercises. Anyway, most of us, when we breathe, Over the years, because of stress, we don't breathe fully. Most of us breathe using twenty-five to thirty percent of lung capacity. Shallow breath, Jyoti. Shallow breath. Mm. Automatically, if you can, if you can just double that, your energy level could double also. Just by taking deeper breaths. Yes, but there's a way to train your body, right? So, and 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 there is there's a way to then also increase the absorption of that energy into your body. If you do those two things, you can get exponential growth in your in your whole quality of life. So we focus first on a very simple idea of expanding life force within you. Right? Once you get that done, my God, the game starts. See, when the prana level is high or chi is high, 
Everything feels good. You're optimistic. Your mind works better. Your colors look brighter. When it's low, you feel depressed. You doubt even your mother, right? Mm. So your prana is very important. Our society has become a low prana society, by the way, in Pakistan, right? Because the food we eat. So there are four major sources of it. And I'll, you know, I, I, I do experiments with, we don't have enough time to cover those right now, but I'll just give you a tip. One is food. We have a carbohydrate-rich food that uh, oscillates our sugar levels yeah, okay. and so crashes with, and bursts with exactly. energy. There's a lot of stuff around that, mm. right? With food, there are two other dimensions to it. Is what not only what you eat, mm. how you eat it, but also, you know, there's a, a very important aspect to it. Is, is, is the idea that digestion is the number one consumer of energy. Uh, actually, number one is sex, Okay. Number two is digestion. Sex is normally short, but digestion can last for hours. Yeah. Especially if you get a heavy meal, you know, charga, lassis, and you'll notice, oh, you know, the rat like that. Rat. <laughs> so your energy, it consumes uh. a lot of your life force. So you're diminished. So that's why, you know, you know, you eat light, eat healthier foods. And this whole science, truth, the fresher it is, is higher in prana, right? Uh, because they, it's consuming less energy. Yeah, so that's why fresh fruits, vegetables are very, very good. That's okay. I think at least half your meals should be that fresh fruits and, and single ingredient foods, right? Exactly. Like a single ingredient salad, or yeah, meat, or yeah, whatever. So that's uh, right. So food becomes there's a lot to be there. And I do experiments when I teach this course because it's experiential. You got to feel it. You feel mm. the level of it. life first go up. Mm. Second is sleep. Very important. Quality of sleep becomes extremely important. Isme I think sab fail ho jata hai. Baat hai. There is seek, there is knowledge around that. How to manage your sleep so that you sleep much deeper and actually have full recovery, right? Number three is state of mind, right? If you are upset, your life force goes down. When you are happy, your life force goes up. Your mm. mind, th mind thinks better, right? So, and the last one is breath, right? So mm. all these four need to work very well. Food, so, sleep. Uh, state, state of, of mind, mind and breath. Breath, right? Yeah, but instead of in charge, you do by Exactly. Yeah, Once you become because you need to master your own life. Mm. This is the beginning. These are the big, big four. There are many more, and we'll talk about that later on. Uh, you know, once you do the program, I, I, you know, we run experiments and we teach you other ways to be able to absorb your life force. So, right? make. Uh, but the Chinese in Chinese medicine, they measure chi of each organ to mm. know where the disease is. The, the disease organs have very low chi. So the, there's a technique of seeing life force. Mm. Also, you know, life force shows up when you, by the way, when you lie, Islam is the most gamified religion in the world. People don't understand it, right? Everything just sawab hota na, is things that raise your level of life force, prana. Mm. Guna is the destruction of life force. When you say you say you can It's a measurable phenomenon. <laughs> so, uh, Actually, that's a very good way of looking at it. Islam is gamified. It's gamified like crazy. Point system, hai na, guna crazy. Game hai. Net, net positive. Hona hai, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and positive energy. Milti hai usse. Absolutely. And but it's me, you know, as you're saying this, these four points, hai, as you're saying this, I, I literally this morning picked up my. 11 year old daughter's report card and she did well and I looked at all of the subjects why aren't any of the subjects that they're teaching 11 year olds that because that is what she should learn or that's what we should have learned when we were 11 ke, how do we protect our state of mind absolutely absolutely because this skill I I will apply it now I am so it's a little late. I'm stuck with my habits, yeah. Look, this is our industrial age. The education, the factory production line, people were ready for it. It was for education. This is the time of AI. Ke zabane mein na, education will have to be transformed. I think this is because AI will do all the work. So then what are you doing? If you are not protecting your state of mind, you are not adding creativity, AI will do all the repetitive tasks. Look, you have a very big thing. What will humans do? Right? Humans are infinite beings. People don't realize we are so incredible. We haven't even used a small fraction of our capacity. So it's about unlocking that. We are spiritual beings. We are infinite beings. We have access to infinity. And in the course I teach, we work that. In meditation, we take you to a place which is beyond your body and mind, right? 
And that's all of us. Are, we all of us exist in moments. What age group? Make it consistent. Uh, what, what age group do you start at? Would you take so, teenagers? So, yeah, yeah. There are programs. You have to modify it for them, right? Mm. There's a different program. I teach a very structured program. So mm. that's for 18 and above. But mm. there is, uh, my wife teaches a program which can do for teenagers and even younger kids. You now, teenagers can actually, they develop very quickly intuitive capacity. They can read minds. Ch and children can, right? And uh, so it's f phenomenal because much easier because their minds are much more clear, much easier to get there, right? So which is why I am a believer that at the young age, this is the education for the future. Because it's going to be. AI is creating a solution for a lot of repetitive tasks. So this yeah, means yeah. human capacity is free. If human capacity is free, and in free capacity, their state of mind flux mein hai ki yaar kaise main kya karu job mile na mile ye wo sleep aapki effect ho rahi hai aapka diet effect ho raha hai matlab then to you're creating a very crazed society so you'd rather change the education system today and you inculcate hit, this you hit it so it's, and you also hit something else so as i said one is life force prana right or chi right the second thing we cover is presence being present in, in here and now and we do that through meditation we do a something where we detox your whole nervous system a very powerful meditation it's called a kriya purifying action we use the breath to do it it's a rhythmic breath through which we at a cellular level we do a detox is it like a shamanic breath the fire breath it's, you know it's a little more complex it's, it's ancient yogic breath okay. which has been learned by us but it has been done and controlled under a teacher a facilitator like master like myself right because it you release massive amounts of energy right because we hold on to so much and that uh, those become patterns right yes for example a thought typically triggers off a physical sensation and then see, thoughts emotions and physical sensations get intertwined see what i mean right sometimes the emotion can trigger a thought or a physical sensation right or something in the body. I, and, and you're or saying so the body can also trigger a certain thought or a, a, a mental state so but as you're saying this most people even confuse ki ye teen alag cheeze hain kyunki thought emotion or physical sensation ko separate karna logon ke liye mushkil ho jata hai you know so that's what we do we break so that's why you're running patterns all the time hmm. life has become a pattern hmm. and we keep playing it so here we what is freedom freedom is to get out of the patterns that you're stuck in and you're able to then go beyond it you're able to see with with clarity and so so the second thing we do is we detox us to be able to experience deep presence when you in the moment here and now it's a very powerful state of being there's a book called power of now it's one of the classics of all time eckhart tolle eckhart tolle right so we make that happen for you in that this course second thing is to get you into deep presence presence where the moment in this moment you experience the the infinity right and that's what you you're capable of so we make you experience at least windows of that for now right because then to habituate it you have to practice it there's a practice because you you know oh 10 20 50 years depending on your age you you know you really messed yourself up right but so now you need to re recondition yourself to be able to experience that sense of presence children are very present especially young under 5 the very present they here and now when they eat a piece of chocolate it looks like the whole universe is in the moment right it's like so intense and you notice by the way everything that that really you enjoy in life is in the moment you eat eating chocolate listening to music brings you to the, into the now now playing sports into the now here and now making love in the here and now nothing else right? namaz ibadat agar namaz mein aap pata nahi khane ka soch rahe ya kya bane daawat pe jaane daawat pe jaane meeting karni hai wo maza nahi jab aap pure dil aur dhyan ke sath namaz padhte hain na kya lutf aata hai maza aa jata hai to phir namaz ka maqsad hi yahi hai na dil mein aap panch dafa thoda break le aur zen state achieve kare taaki aapki energy preserve ho so it's a preservation of energy tactic and to bring you in the now 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 humne to usko drop your allah mein kehte na give me all your anxieties give me all your fears mm. give it all to me i'm here for you that's mm. why if you have intense people like mola ali who pulled the door of khyber mm. they were able to channel martial artists do that they bring in, in the moment mm. and they channel it all channel in that infinite they do incredible things right and it's all possible we are incredible human being but it happens when you are able to concentrate it into the now same the intellect solving incredible problems by being focused laser beam energy right how do 
how did you discover this at what point in your life did you find this <laughs> this happened to me coincidentally i always was a seeker from childhood i always thought i wanted to be a saint one day you know <laughs> <laughs> i haven't got anywhere close to it but it was you know uh, uh. visualizations hote uh, but you know that journey took me to many places and i was always a seeker i was always go to you know sufi sheikhs and uh, you know different uh, i was for a while very religious i even went to on tablig for a while right? really you know, i was experiment i want to discover who i was right and you know i i just didn't find the depth that i was looking for at least with those people that i was with right right until you know i went through a crisis in my own life and i was suffering from severe anxiety mm. i was in silicon valley things were going wrong 2000 dot com bubble burst mm. ho gaya tha to bahut stress aa gaya tha i was feeling bad i went to the doctor and the doctor gave me medication mm. he said you got to have prozac which is a anti mm. depressant yeah mm. so i said shit when i went online and checked this is mm. not very good stuff right yeah, i just said let me figure out some other way and coincidentally i came across this class the art of living class and i took the class a friend of mine told me that it healed her so i took the class and it changed my life i had this window of experience in the course like i said we do this really powerful technique where you de-stress your whole body and you're able to transcend right for a moment mm. and i experienced infinity and experienced absolute bliss i said yeah this is what i'm meant to experience mm. i read it in rumi and you know sari kitab padha tha like samajh bhi nahi aaya tha until i experienced when i experienced at the depth i said this is what i want so i dedicated my life around it i decided to become a teacher of it so for a couple of years i continued to work Mm. Then in 2004, I left everything and came back to Pakistan to teach this. Right, I became a teacher and came. So, so for, you did this literally 20 plus years ago, yeah. and then in 04 came back to teach it. Yeah. Then I became a teacher and came back to Pakistan to be a teacher. In 2004, I was a traveling teacher. Our art of living model is that teacher only gets 10 percent of the cost money. 60% 30% for cost of getting a hall and space, right. and 60% goes to the poor. Right. Right. So it's a Sufiana way of doing it. अच्छा is like people forget we will think to he is one god it is really a feeling experience mm. the oneness of his creation he is everywhere seeing him in everything him or her in you know, or or the divine in everything and everywhere right mm. that's what makes you do sufi or a yogi yog yog comes from the word union mm. one who feels one with everything right and that's i, I believe the same is the purpose of islam as well to experience a oneness of creation to see him everywhere so ye jo oneness ka jo concept hai comes from let's say the concept of energy right ke yes. we are all energy we are one theek hai matlab wo kehte hain ki ek atom ko bhi break down kare it's literally just energy yeah. you believe ke we are not physical physical objects in fact this is different states of energy and my perception of you is a perception of a different state of energy my perception of this table and it will be different from your perception of this table we might both see a table but the way we see it the way we really capture it and if that is the case then are we all not one part of one energy source which ties into the laws of physics ke energy can can only be transferred and not be, uh, cannot be created, created or destroyed not destroyed to ye oneness ka ye meaning hai in the past the world was people people have known this for ages all extraordinary beings people have evolved to the stage right what there used to be secret society sufis what you have to take a bath you had it was a secret knowledge yogis did the same the freemasons did exactly this is exactly the buddhist, what they do the buddhist monks did the same exactly right but something has happened there's a shift that's going to happen now i believe and also the yogis have said it there's a shift the mayans have said end of the world you've heard about mm. end of the world as we know it the end of the physical reality is about to happen we are spirits and this knowledge is going to become common knowledge very soon right because of the age of communication information and the need so remember industrial age was all about machines becoming stronger than human beings Correct. before that strength was power 
then strength became a commodity <laughs> and intellect took over. Intellect became valuable. Now, when in the age of AI, intellect is commoditized. In <laughs> intellect is going to be commoditized. What remains is the spirit. The spirit is infinite. Those who learn to be one with the spirit. And that's why I believe there's a major turning point in the history of the world is about to happen. And those and the education will have to transform itself. Every child, every human being will have to awaken themselves and access this infinite power that they have. And they will. Not everybody will transition into this age. And that's why this is going to be a very tumultuous times ahead, right? I think the next, this decade is going to be one of the toughest ones in the history of mankind. The wars are just one part of it. It's the, the, what AI is going to do to disrupt work as we know it. Every work that we know is going to change dramatically, right? Dramatically. No, and faster than people can imagine. People thought it'll take over oh, five, ten years. No, it's happening right now at a faster pace than you can even imagine, right? So the thing is, and that's an exponential just, rate. And you an know, exponential And by the way, yeah. people don't even realize that Chat GPT 3 was IQ of 90, right? Chat GPT 4 was IQ of 155. The next version, which is coming out, is going to be IQ of 1000. Human beings have IQ, average IQ of, you know, not that. This, Einstein was 162, right? Mm. Now, you just can imagine, even, and Einstein imagined a whole new reality for us, right? The whole law of thermodynamics, physics, you know, changed the way we create industries, which we got, nuclear physics, everything we emerged out of. Can you imagine time travel, etc. When you have IQ of 1000 working for you, the, the world and reality is going to change dramatically. And the question then becomes is how are you prepared for that? And as you say that, you made a mind makes a wala as why should I wait for the education system to change formally to prepare my children? Because why should I wait? Because it's going to take years, right? Policies, decisions. Do it now. So then we have to actually supplement their edu their formal education with education of these things on the side so that they are prepared to at least embrace these Absolutely. changes because it's not about oh i'm ready to do exactly but at least i'm open to all of these changes and live life a certain way Absolutely. because the point you made about ai i'll give you an example i was at the singapore fintech festival a couple of weeks ago mm. and i went there the one thing i saw that blew my mind i used to be an investment banking associate which meant my job was building financial models right and it used to take me maybe three to five days to build a full three statement model put it into a presentation and then go pitch it to a client Hmm. I will never forget. I stood there. I paused. There was a booth. <laughs> there was this company that showed a AI plugin for Excel that built a three statement working model with full projections and analysis in my eye, in front of my eyes in less than 60 seconds. This job took me five days, right? And maybe the smart ones, it took three days, but 60 seconds. It just killed all of the analysts in the market, killed all of the associates. So then what job remains? If AI becomes a supplementary brain for us, right? If I'm offshoring my thinking yeah, yeah. to AI, then what am I doing? That becomes the big question to me. And see, the, the, having the confidence to be able to... Eat. So I don't think the issue is that they'll replace us. It's the people who can use it, right? And leverage it will have incredible power, right? So it's like they have a supplementary... And, uh, we, and we have got... Yeah, everybody can use it. So the, there can be huge flowering of human civilization, right? And that's where the possibility is. I see it very, uh, this is going to be, be potentially a beautiful era too. And humans are normally good, right? We've seen this with all. Printing press, maybe a lot fears that the printing press has come, but then knowledge will come, what will happen? In every age, there are fears. TV, but radio, humans are on the whole yeah. large. There are a few who are bad apples. We can manage them. Oh, I can manage. Mm. But it's a huge potential. Of, but they, no matter what, it'll be disruptive, right? It'll change everything as we know it. Mm. It'll no, change the way we are, we work, professions. People invested so much in their careers, right? Mm. It's, those, especially those in the 40s and 50s will feel it more because they've invested so much in getting there. The, you know, most of us, the younger generation will not have invested so much, so they'll be oh, fine. Mm. But for those who are doctors, lawyers, you know, I do most of my contracts now by myself, right? I can mm. do it on AI much better. Mm. Uh, so I use it like you quite a bit, right? Even with me medicine, I had a ear infection. 
I didn't get a good response from my doctor. So I went and did a lot of AI research and I triangulated into what the problem was, he, which my doctor wasn't able to, right? Mm. Then I went back to another doctor who's, who I thought was good enough. I told him, oh, he said, oh, yes. So, you know, in every area, as you know, what our doctor is still, you know, IQ, like you said, mm. limited knowledge said, good. I mean, with smartest doctor, but you have infinite, the AI system is too new. It's, it's just been a year or so. Mm. Still very early. But what's going to happen in the year, next two, three years, it's just going to be incredible. All these careers are changing dramatically, especially doctors and mm. lawyers, every profession, call centers. You know, the world is changing very fast. And we need to be ready for that. And Pakistan, you know, we, we had a conversation, by the way, with the chief of army staff, for example, mm. recently. Uh, where we shared and there was a whole bunch of Pakistanis from Silicon Valley would come here mm. to talk about Pakistan should not miss the AI boat, right? This is a rocket ship. If we miss this rocket ship, we're done. We missed many rocket mm. you know, opportunities. This one is not missable. This was a disruptive one. We need to ride it. Mm. Whether it's education, you know, we, you know, Khan Academy, for example, mm. he's got a now AI version that's coming out and for Pakistan. In the US, it's available for $20, right? Mm. Uh, the AI version of it, which is like a personal tutor, personal best teacher in the world teaching you. In in Pakistan, they're going to give it for 80 cents, right? Wow. Yeah, this is game-changing stuff that's happening per head. So this is a game-changing stuff that's about to happen in education, in healthcare. We can leapfrog like nobody's business. All our challenges are actually opportunities. Right? Um, yeah. The disruption in the West is going to be far, far more. Because they're more entrenched in entrenched, their ways. Yes. Right? We are not entrenched at all. Right? 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 My God, I'm so powerful. That I, bliss, happiness, it's not an external thing, it's an internal thing. Right. Everything else is a stimuli, right? Just to stimulate my inner right. being to feel it. And my inner state is happiness and bliss, right? It's only that we've not, like children are happy without a, a place doing stupid bakwas karte, chodi dinki sat khilne mein khush hote, right? Kyunki it's the nature, it's the state of being. We also can be blissful without having to, have stimuli controlling us. Right. So, so the second realization is that I am powerful. So, I this course, I teach a little bit to a window of experience. Then they give them an sense that you are responsible for everything. Right? Which means, you are responsible for everything means something very simple. Right? That, you know, you have to take the power for yourself. When you don't take power into your hands, you complain about it. You know, that is this government, this is the whole thing. But now, that child in that village can become Abdul Salam and can't do anything. So, it's on you. You can take the power into your hands. Once mm. people realize that, right? Our world, because of whatever colonial history that we've had, we were disempowered. A population has been disempowered. Once they feel empowered, and they take the power in their hand, this destiny, their destinies can change very mm. quickly. The tools to make that happen are now av available to everyone. Mm. And I think there's a revolution in the making. And so when you talk about this power and passing it on, right, and you talked about this way of living, this art of living, yeah. right, the four principles, at the same time, you also in parallel continue to run a corporate life. Yes. Right, a corporate life that is all about capitalism, it is all yes. about profitability, it is all about making money. Yes. Right, which sometimes runs counterintuitive to this, this the Zen state and the flow state. How does how do you balance that? You were the CEO of uh, Vatin Telecom. You ran the Acumen Fund. You've launched uh, Neem Financial, very capitalist, yeah. very money making centered businesses. Yet there's this whole Zen persona. You balance kaise hota hai? I was telling you that, you know, when I went through the spiritual experience, I had my own awakening. I realized that what do I want in my life? I only want one thing now. I want to be one with the force. 
Mm. I'm, I'm a Star Wars generation kid, right? So for me, that defined me, and I saw the Jedi is right, one mm. with the Force, yeah. which is exactly a spiritual contest. Because it's the Star Wars movie was based. The Star Wars is the art of is the art of living. It's it's exactly. <laughs> by the way, all you know, the Sufis have the yeah. same belief. By the way, detachment, yeah. all those things, values are clearly, yeah, very highly spiritual values, right? Uh, so for me, I made that choice, and so uh-huh. what I do, everything I do, I do it in a way that it uh, it is with the intention of being one with others, enabling other people's lives. So when I was came back as a teacher to Pakistan. I, I had to go back to work because I couldn't make a living. You know, I was just finding it difficult, and uh, so I went back to work to, in Mobile Link at the time, which is Jazz now. Right. Uh, uh, f- uh, my friend had come on as the CEO at that time, and he said, "I'm going to scale this and take telecom everywhere and transform people's lives." So I love that idea. So uh-huh. I became his chief strategy officer. Right. I helped him build that company from a small company to the biggest company in Pakistan. That's right. where I learned a lot, grew a lot. Uh, then I moved on to Athene, where I became the CEO again with an intention to make. Because I truly believe this technology revolution is going to empower people, and I want right. to empower people. Right? So I took that opportunity. Then I got. Then I actually ran into trouble. By the way, I don't know if you know that, right? The Taliban came after me. Right? So I my, remember that they burnt down the place in Islamabad, yes, and they put a hit on me. So I was. Actually, I didn't know list. that they put. So I, I remember I, they burned down the place. Yeah, yeah. So I was on the hit list. I would. दफ्तर में पर्चे आते थे. तालिबान से तेरी के तालिबान पंजाब में पीछे पड़ गई थी और ये क्यों क्या वजह थी इसकी वो बिकॉज दिस और मेडिटेशन वॉज एलियन कॉन्सेप्ट टेकिंग पीपल अवे फ्रॉम इस्लाम राइट मतलब ये मेडिटेशन इज टेकिंग अच्छा तो वो तो तालिबान उस जमाने में पोलियो वर्कर्स को मार हर बंदे को मार रहे थे ना हमें भी मारने लगे थे वट ईयर वॉज दिस ट्वेंटी फोर्टीन Fourteen. Huh, Pakistan was marked as the most dangerous country in the world yes, at that, that time. Was our low time point. magazine. That was a low point. Yeah, it's low point. So uh, my life became hell. I had to hide. Right. I had to resign. I. I. You had to resign because of this. Yeah, I became security. वो पर्चे आ रहे हैं दफ्तर में क्या तो मुझे भी मारेंगे और जो मेरे साथ काम कर रहा है उसको भी उड़ा देंगे. Yeah, ये जब आता है तो you know, people get scared shit. Yeah. So you know, I had to move on, and I did. And I, the only person who gave me a job was a woman called Jacqueline Novogratz, Acumen mm. Fund. She said, "Aja, aja." Mm. So I went, joined her, and and we built Acumen up. Uh, and then, I, you know, coincidences happened that I uh, got a chance to join the government, right? Uh, my I, my friend Shahid Khan Abbasi became the prime minister. I mm. went to give Mubarak Badi. So he said, "Oh, Mifta is moving to finance. His job is open. Mm. Do you want to take it?" I said, "Let me think about it." No, no, think about it. I'll be doing it. But yeah, say it or not say it. मैं ना हाँ का सोचा कि यार मेरे दिल में कि यार let me do something for my country and this is the board of investment chairman board of investment right तो तो great I learned a lot but my intention was clear to serve right mm. uh, I wanted an opportunity to serve so I got it I took it and ran with it mm. from being hunted down to the hunt mm. <laughs> yeah having ministerial status you know it was just great uh, but I learned a lot I made some contribution I don't know how much but I made some contribution it made it easier to do business I turned around the whole trajectory पहले डिक्लाइन हो रहा था फिर पॉजिटिव साइड पे ले गया फिर यू नो सम इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स देयर बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली आई लर्न अ लॉट एंड ग्रू एंड आई कंटिन्यू देन व्हेन आई लेफ्ट आई डिड सो फॉर मी अटैचमेंट इज नॉट द वर्ड राइट आई हैव लर्न नॉट टू अटैच माय सेल्फ बिकॉज़ व्हेन ऑल दिस हैपेंड माय लाइफ वेंट थ्रू हेल बाय द वे व्हेन द तालिबान केम आफ्टर मी आई नॉट ओनली लॉस्ट माय जॉब आई गॉट डिवोर्स्ड इन द प्रोसेस राइट एंड आई 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 कुडंट टीच एनी मोर बिकॉज़ वी वर टारगेटेड सो आई लॉस्ट एवरीथिंग इन दैट मोमेंट राइट एंड माय लाइफ वेंट केम टू अ लो एब इट डिडंट you know i think we able to let go the biggest thing for a sufi or for somebody who's spiritual is to have faith to be able to let go right and surrender into the moment let go of your thoughts or let go of the moment just be yeah be with it right everything changes so one like, of the spiritual laws is whatever you resist will persist mm. you heard this one no so but it's not that easy it was mm. started to learn my way it was painful so i felt mm. the pain right but i grew a lot in the journey and now i think if you took away everything from me i'd be fine so i i learned this from another uncle of mine right who was actually slight badmash also mm. right he was a he was your peer bagaro's very close associate mm. right mm. <laughs> uh, and uh, badmash of sorts right? but that definitely makes you a badmash but a malang right a malang badmash but i loved him i loved him <laughs> he says what is masjid ki baat kehte hai mera jeb mein ikka hota hai ha bola ikka ha main ikka ha बादशाह के ऊपर जा सकता है और दुखी के नीचे भी जा सकता है वह बोला वाह क्या बात है एंड दैट्स यू नो टू बी एबल टू बी कंफर्टेबल विद एनी वन एंड एवरी वन राइट वेदर अ किंग और 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 फकीर राइट सो 
uh, and that's the journey for me at least because i put an intention in that's why i said the power of intention is incredible mm. you make a choice that this is what the life i want then the it'll challenge you they'll put you through a journey which will get you there but you got to be ready to walk through it so then where did the power of the intention come in for you to start your own business because you took these opportunities yes. with with existing companies existing businesses to help build scale them serve them but the very servant mindset right can i be a servant leader and give yet now you are creating to wo intention change kab hui aur kyun intention change hui to abhi bhi serve karna hai intention to us pe bhi i met my when i left the government i was doing some advisory work for the world bank right to us zamane mein mere phir mulakat hui mere jo partners hai co-founders hai nadeem sheik of ladmira right in dono se mulakat hui and they he had an idea around financial wellness कि बोला यार ये जमाना खत्म हो गया कि जब फाइनेंशियल सर्विस देते ना आपका एक्सट्रैक्शन का होता है कि आप पहले होते ना जो लेंडर्स होते थे यूजर्स कहते थे आप लोगों से निचोड़ रहे होते चीजें हमने कहा यार पैराडाइम शिफ्ट करो फाइनेंशियल सर्विस शुड बिकम एन इनेबलर ऑफ पीपल्स लाइफ दैट्स वाई फाइनेंशियल वेलनेस बिकम्स अ कॉन्सेप्ट आई लाइक दैट कॉन्सेप्ट लेट्स वर्क टूगेदर And the three of us got together, and we're building a company called Neem from the Neem tree, right? Mm. Which is a tree which is full of goodness. Mm. Provides so shade and shelter. Yeah, shade. Mm. The leaves are good. Neem ka hota na, wo patte bade achhe hote, or uske jard achhe hote. Har chiz hi mein goodness mm. hai. I said, let's create a company which brings goodness to the world. Mm. And financial wellness became the idea. It's not only financial services enabling people's lives. So what does uh, we take people through a journey of life? So you're said, providing to, like how do you enable them? You provide them financial loans. Do you provide them transaction ability? What do you guys do? So Neem is a beautiful uh, uh, business idea model. Different model is a big shift happening. Have we said here? Look, a lot of people are not in Pakistan are not in the financial net, right? Are not enabled by it at all. But they may be using curry, or they may use buy kia. They may be right. using you know some agricultural app or something. Why not embed financial services in those things, right? So we have said that, for example, if there is any digital platform or business model, on us, we will enable it to, to deliver financial services hmm. instead of going direct to consumer. Use case on that. जब एक बार आ गए उनके पहले पेमेंट्स करने लगे फिर उनकी इनसाइट क्योंकि दे मे नो अबाउट द कस्टमर हाउ मच इज बाइंग और सेलिंग व्हाट्स गोइंग ऑन इन हिज लाइफ बेस्ड ऑन दैट वी कैन देन प्रोवाइड द लैंडिंग फॉर हिम टू बी एबल टू बाय मोर गुड्स और सर्विसेज राइट टू बाय अ मोटर बाइक इफ इज अ बाइक या राइडर और थिंग्स लाइक दैट बेस्ड ऑन इनसाइट्स ऑफ द वैल्यू चेन वी आर एबल टू प्रोवाइड फाइनेंशियल सर्विसेज एंड द फाइनेंशियल वेलनेस आइडिया इज दैट वंस यू गेट टू नो द पर्सन बेस्ड ऑन इनसाइट्स payments is the basic foundation layer right uske upar aata hai if they want to access credit credit allows them to grow their business or uh, fund the education or healthcare whatever yeah. right uske upar hota hai insurance ke right. jab aap loan le liye to aapko agar kuch garbad ho jaye ek farmer hai aap aapne inputs ke liye loan liya hai aur pata chala salab aa gaya to uske liye insurance ka kuch chahiye hoti hai इंश्योरेंस के बाद होती है फिर आप इंश्योरेंस uh, भी आ गई और यू बिकम सक्सेसफुल यू जनरेटिंग मोर इनकम तो फिर आप सेविंग भी करना चाहते हैं कि अपने बच्चों की होप्स एंड डिजायर्स हो एक दिन घर घर लो हज पे जाओ जो भी उसके लिए सेव करना पड़ता है तो हमने कहा पूरा लाइफ साइकिल होता है और वो उसके लिए इंसाइट चाहिए होती है इंसाइट के लिए बेस्ट जगह है इज इन अदर डिजिटल प्लेटफॉर्म्स वेर दैट पर्सन लिवस बिकॉज पाकिस्तान में फाइनेंशियल डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल क्रेडिट डेटा इज नॉट अवेलेबल हाउ कैन इनेबल दैट सो वंस यू एम्बेडेड in any financial system right or, or, or digital system digital ecosystem or value chain we can enable them in a very powerful way because there's already use case there's already a you know, you see predict at the behavior cost of also the, the microfinance try to do that but cost of microfinance is very high because पेपर वर्क होता है ये हम उनके इकोसिस्टम होते हैं हमारा कॉस्ट स्ट्रक्चर बहुत लो होता है नहीं तो इसमें आप क्या करें यू बेसिकली इम्बेडिंग योर सेल्फ इन लाइक अ फूड पैंडा इन अ करीम इन बाइकिया इन ऑल ऑफ दिस प्लेटफॉर्म्स यू इम्बेड योर सेल्फ एज अ पेमेंट सोल्यूशन एट द सेम टाइम यू कलेक्टिंग डेटा ऑन द बिहेवियर्स एंड हैबिट्स क्रिएटिंग अ पर्सनल प्रोफाइल टू डिटर्मिन वेदर टू गिव दम क्रेडिट गिव दम इंश्योरेंस एंड सो ऑन एब्सोलूट सो बेसिकली वट यूर डूइंग इज वट वी चैट डज वी चैट इज डूइंग एग्जैक्टली दिस but the thing with wechat is it's all in one so it actually knows the customer really well and can give credit knowing 
कि ये हम अपना फ़ोन दिन में दस दफ़ा चेक करता है ये ऐप इस तरह चलाता है खाना इस तरह का आता है तो कि ये इस टाइप का बंदा है ये टाइम पे पैसे दे देगा वापस वी विल गेट देर हमारे तो मल्टीपल एप्स से ये डेटा आ रहा है पाकिस्तान सी वी चैट है ग्रेट स्टार्ट बिकॉज स्टार्ट एट अ टाइम वे देर वॉज नथिंग देर नाउ इन पाकिस्तान एंड अदर प्लेस देर आर मेनी डिफरेंट एप्स फॉर डिफरेंट थिंग्स राइट वी कान सुपर ऐप नहीं बन सकते यू डोंट थिंक दिस नो बट इज दिस मार्केट फॉर अ सुपर ऐप Is Pakistan still a market for a super app or not? I think it's more difficult now, right? But it's still potential. Creams of the world may try to do that, right? Because that would solve your problem instantly. Yeah, but we we said even if you're not, right? The same user, for example, one of the platforms you're working with is Baakhabar Kisan, right? Right. Baakhabar Kisan is one of the largest agri tech companies in Pakistan, providing 22 million people in the farm economy with weather updates, market prices. solutions on how to you know solve the agri problems right so you're able to get data on that bakhabar yes. on the now, kisan now they're also providing advisory on what fertilizer seeds and pesticides to use on the land because we have data lots of data on the customer mm. including satellite and images. this data is being shared between these companies yes and then they're now providing inputs right Ag- fertilizer seeds and pesticides and selling them also online so we're helping working towards helping them with the payments and then if the, that farmer has a what we call a closed loop contract they have a sugar uh, growing sugar cane with a sugar mill right or uh, they going uh, potatoes with frito lays it's called closed loop lending mm. then we can even finance that transaction ensure mm. that uh, customer and that's how the whole enablement of the agri value chain will happen right and pakistan's agricultural productivity is very very low right mm. it can be quadrupled the incomes can be quadrupled over the next 5 10 years mm. and technology will enable it is starting to happen abhi tak interface mein thoda sa anpad loge hamare zyada tar right to wo pad nahi pata but abhi ai aa gayi hai wo to baat karega mm. aapse bhai aapko video dikhayega aur by the way ye hamare bakhabar kisan platform hai jo sabse bada use case aa raha hai is videos they've got all these videos and user generated content about how to do everything and mm. people are watching 100000 videos a day right? wow and they learning from each other right. this is the new knowledge economy and even unpaid people are learning and growing mm. the requirement to be padha likha is going away video content is still pushing video away. content now voice interfaces yes. special chat gpt india mein to bahut zabardast app is already available right uh, microsoft is promoting it a big time you know, where a farmer can this oh, in the local language like all the, the hundreds of in local language in india ke marwadi ho ya ya pakistan mein sindhi ho gayi ya sarai ki ho gayi ya us pe baat karega sari malumat milegi wo usko guide kar sakta hai har cheez ke bare mein to ek tarah se ai ne ek unpar farmer ko assist kar diya hai with a brain an educated brain kya baat hai जो जो समझो नेदरलैंड्स के अंदर बहुत प्रोडक्टिव जगह है भाई उसके साथ भी हम कम्पीट कर सकते हैं क्योंकि फार्मर का एक चीज है जो एआई के अंदर फार्मर को अपने जमीन की जो एक्सपीरियंस है जनरेशनल नॉलेज है जनरेशनल वो यूज करे अगर एआई के साथ तो देन ही फार्मर्स अनस्टॉपेबल इसी में बोल रहा हूं ये रेवोल्यूशन इज इन द मेकिंग एंड इनकम जनरेशन कैन बी हैपेंड देयर वाज वन वीडियो अबाउट ग्रोइंग हनी बीज राइट which is getting a lot of traction mm. if you grow a small farmer just starts growing some little bit of honey bees mm. he can generate 10 to 50000 rupees of extra income that's true per year quite easily same thing if you especially in the potohar grow uh, say 10 olive trees right my god the income generate slowly slowly right yeah it's exponential my god the exponential effect and also the, now the global marketplace right Mm. If you make a great product anywhere in the world, and you're making a great halwa, I don't know whatever halwa is easy one to talk about. Bilkul. You It's could be selling it in in Paris, right? Yes. In a in the top cafe. Yeah. Right. That's uh, true. <laughs> so, lottery के बराबर एक हलवा स्टोर करते हैं. The world <laughs> is now becoming a very small place. Yeah. And yeah. The, the opportunities are phenomenal, and we should leverage it. And I, that's why I'm hopeful for Pakistan. Even though I see so much abyss, right? People have become hopeless about Pakistan. I, the, sad because they're not seeing beyond the challenges. These challenges are massive opportunities, right? And entrepreneurs like you, me, and many others, I hopefully on this podcast, mm. will go solve for it. The tools are available. Mm. Rapid, you know, transformation can happen. And so I think this is the decade, by the way. Mm. In before 2030, a revolution is going to be in the making. empowering human beings so ye jo revolution ki baat kar rahe hain ke you know people feel dejected and hopeless right there's a group of people 
that have no choice but to feel optimistic and those are students graduating from colleges in the next four months in may yes they have no choice but to be optimistic <laughs> because kuch to karna hai unko oh. ab is degree ke sath shayad unke liye thoda late ho gaya ho but for those who are entering college in six months based on what you are seeing and what you are saying that we are at the cusp of a you know we are at the cusp we are at a turning point technology aa raha ai aa raha hai how should these students who've had their educational foundation in the traditional way set up how should they pivot their careers or set up their careers for the next 10 years where should they focus <laughs> very complex question uh, very important question dekhiye humne baat ki pehle you have to focus getting yourself sorted right and uh, so pehle to art of living ka class yes is zaruri hai seriously yaar bahut zaruri hai dusri dusri baat ye Uh, is it it just requires the ability to have confidence and belief in yourself and our society hasn't built that up right yeah. even parents don't do that job very well right yeah but you know danda hota hai you know more critical rather than you know in uh, giving people confidence we got to change a society this needs to become a national agenda right that we need to become more positive and believe in ourselves more mm. and more and more you know really if, if, if uh, the difference between many people who, who grow up in more prosperous homes mm. is that they, they have beliefs systems that are more in us there's a very famous book rich dad poor dad you, you yeah, must rich have heard dad poor guy kawasaki exactly simple thing mm. so we really need to make a national and I, i personally i want to do that right after i exit inshallah new mm. my focus is going to be around building a movement around this right is we got to inspire young people to have more confidence in themselves which is lacking in our that's in our all youth. you need because we like you said with ai But how can they you have can make business plans there are so you you and i before this podcast talked about a 100 million dollar opportunity right yeah. i'm telling you solid <laughs> you just have to go after it and there are probably thousands of such opportunities out there because yeah. now the world is yours you can do anything yeah. you want right be but part of anything in the world but it's make problem so that conditioning i understand being positive I say this all the time how can so there's two parts to it I think they need to be positive and yeah. they need to learn to take decisions yes the challenge because you will fail when you take decisions and you learn to get better <laughs> right in our society where everything is decided by our parents and grandparents <laughs> like when we have a child we can't name our own child because some elder wants to name him based on their beliefs and whatever then after that the child's school is decided by the parents the child's you know fate is decided in terms of their degree engineering padho doctor bano ye karo phir uski jo hai college decide kiya jata hai sare parents decision le rahe hain phir uski shaadi kis se ho rahi hai uska decide kiya jata hai bachcha kab hoga wo decide kiya jata hai phir us bachche ki life mein dakhal wo uske parents karna shuru kar dete hain to decision making aur confidence kab aayega kyunki ye confidence us decision making ke through aata hai na galti karke uth ke seekh ke aur theek hai yaar galti ho gayi let's move on like you said ke 14 mein i went through this period lost some confidence and gained it back So how do these kids gain confidence when they've been raised in an environment where they have been devoid of the ability to take decisions that help build confidence? Yeah. I I no it's, it's a very big challenge, right? But you know, I got to say that we are a very resilient nation, right? We've we've gone through such challenging times and that's why I see some opportunity because I see the young people of this country St- st- have s- a real natural drive to them right it's just like you said subdued thodi si enabling environment mile na aur kya hai you know i know the there are a couple of groups is one uh, e-commerce group you mean lucky ali and all those guys sunny ali sunny ali and very all those good guys. stuff incredible stuff just yeah. a couple of guys saying the right things yeah. giving them god empowering kids right? yeah. and I, i met some of those kids Achha. i know one of them i mentored him a little bit right the guy was making more money than i was yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? it's incredible and yeah and i love it yeah, yeah. and so we bahut hai thodi si aise chahiye we need lots of heroes there are many people like rehan allah wala there are ah. so many of them out there ah. and they're pushing other and now through mass communicate so for example even my initiative i'm working with rehan allah wala to make videos on how to use chat gpt to make lots of money right right and, and i own a advertising platform as well right ah. it's called smart, smart ads, ads you mentioned and that. we're going to have millions of these young people 
right. getting it. And they click, they can go experience and try new things with it. Right. Mm, I'm telling you, it's not that difficult making money in this day and age. Yeah, now. it's not. <laughs> Come on. To intention. Exactly. Intention. So, yeah. I keep saying that my relationship with my wife has improved a lot. Uh, Why? Because uh, <laughs> I used GPT to write all these beautiful <laughs> poems for her. Right? And she loves it. You know, she's getting yeah. okay. You know? yeah. Something really nice coming to her. Yeah. Why not? So, everything starts changing. And, and yeah. once they start seeing case studies, start playing around. My God, you got the power of, you know, like yeah. in, in a different age, you would have been considered to be a prophet or something to have a, a chat GPT account, right? That's true. And that's what you have. Let me look at them. Google Islam. Google Islam. Next level. My God, superpower. Next level. Next level. It is, it is like a supplementary brain. I treat it like a supplementary brain because I know what to ask it. I don't know the answer. It gives me enough as a starting point. Absolutely. And that's your 90, uh, what, a 90 IQ version. Oh, this is the Every area I'm seeing this. No? So From mene, making it, visual images. If I had to start a company now, there's a, uh, I love these other guys as well. They, you know, there's a, uh, who, uh, they, they're calling about saying that the next trillion dollar company is going to be a three man company. You don't need thousands yeah. of years. It is a revolution they're making, right? Yeah, that's the, true. And that's what they're talking about. It's called exponential companies, right? And there's a whole conversation going on. Well, he is heard some of the podcasts is I'll <laughs> because Rovio, which made Angry Birds, Angry Birds, which was a game a uh -huh. few years ago, I, I this my, my mind was blown. $10 billion company, and it had less than 20 employees. I think it had 10 or 12 employees. WhatsApp was 17 people. WhatsApp was 17 people. Exactly. So if that if we were achieving at that time without AI, yes, it's a trillion dollar company can be a three. That's what they're company. saying now. This is really and tough. that trillion dollar company could come from Pakistan. Exactly. One, by the way, one trillion dollar company will change the destiny of this whole yes. country. Right? Once it's a little borrow, the Pakistan ka pay kar <laughs> Wait, one trillion dollar company, 20% <laughs> tax, then they'll have a budget. Ah, budget they'll have a whole budget. They'll have a whole budget. They don't have so many big issues. We understand so that it's very difficult. And we can't get out of it. One billionaire can actually sort out Pakistan, by the way. Ah. <laughs> if he decides to do it. Lana bada mushkil yeah. kaam. <laughs> but Naeem, this was amazing. I loved the conversation. I loved the energy. And I think this is the energy that needs to be amplified at scale. You know, I, I go to a lecture at colleges often and I see so much despair. And I keep reminding them that the opportunity here. You're sitting at the edge. Exactly what you said. You're sitting literally at the cusp. But just intent laga lo. there's kids sitting in Punjab freelance kaam kar rahe yeah, they yeah. are millionaires yeah. they're buying brand new cars sitting in their living rooms anything is possible no, YouTube. I told you, like Sunny Ali told you the guy well, kid I uh, making much more than I am <laughs> yeah. studying, you know, so yes, I said wow man so the, impressed I think and, and you hit the nail on the head it's about building the confidence in them I think that is the one thing that is lacking if we can build confidence at scale even in let's say 1% of the college going grads that's true. I think that's a great starting point. <laughs> With that good note. Thank you, Nay. Thank you so much. This loved was the last you. episode of the year. What a strong way to end the year. I hope you have a great 2024. And Neem yeah. goes out and enables and empowers lives the way you envision it. Inshallah. And thank you, really. You, What you're doing with this podcast is incredible, right? Thank you. And let's, uh, you know. It's my way of giving back. <laughs> inspire a nation. And this is how nations get inspired. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you all for tuning in. Stay tuned. And have a happy 2024. Wish you all the success. And hope you crush it next year.